السلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه وتابع الله ما بعد we're continuing the characteristics of the successful the winners the true believers we mentioned last night one of the qualities which is shura as Allah Azza wa Jal commanded the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tonight we are continuing that with something related to it which is accepting responsibility being responsible what does that mean? it means that if someone made a mistake he would just simply say I'm wrong <coughs> Some people, they feel that they cannot do that. That they are too good to do this. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta. All sons of Adam, they make mistakes. All sons of Adam, they make mistakes. Which means, if you decided on something, and it turned out to be not the best option, you shouldn't insist on it and say, no, I was right. And then secretly you try to change it and you don't want anybody to know. Why? The Prophet ﷺ himself, one man told him, oh Messenger of Allah, you hit me and it was painful. He told him, here is the rod, hit me. He didn't have any problem telling him, go ahead. I wronged you, I was lining the rose for fighting and you were ahead and I hit you, you want justice, here it is, take the rod, take the stick and hit me back. The man said, Messenger of Allah, you are wearing your clothes, you hit me straight on my skin, take off your shirt. That's what he told the Prophet Prophet didn't tell him, what are you doing, don't you know who are you speaking to, I am the Messenger of Allah. No. He took off his shirt. So, very simple thing. When was the last time you said, I'm sorry? I was wrong. Some people, they never say that. They have a problem with this. And that is a sign of weakness of Iman. It is not a sign of strength of Iman. The true believer has no problem with doing this. The problem is sometimes when you tell someone this is clearly wrong and they start trying to justify it listing the facts telling what happened does not justify the mistake I know but it was traffic and it doesn't matter I'm not asking you there was traffic or there was not traffic what you did was wrong say I'm sorry some people say I'm sorry but it's your fault <laughs> so how it is you are sorry so this is really important because it is related to the Iman, the core of Iman. No true believer will be true believer while he or she has arrogance. Arrogance is not only to feel that, oh, I'm better than him. I have more money. My skin color is better. I have better parents. I have better job. That's part of it. But there is another part. And that's what the Prophet ﷺ said. Batarul Haq, rejecting the truth. The truth was that you are wrong and you are refusing to admit it. That is part of arrogance, which the Prophet ﷺ said, no one will enter Jannah with the weight of mustard seed of arrogance. Mustard seed. So it is really important to remember that one of the qualities of the true believers, of the successful, that they have no problem. Because we all know that we are not free from error. We make mistakes. We acknowledge the mistake, we try to avoid it. Because we are human beings. That's one of the qualities that I ask Allah Azza wa that all of us would have it. Start the taraweeh now, inshallah.